uh, increase. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to put a negative and then decrease. And what this means is that if, if accounts receivable went up, then it's going to bring our cash flow down. So our net income here is going to go down if the accounts receivable went up. If, however, accounts receivable went down, then uh, AR is going to increase. So let's take a look at what we have and then we'll get into some detail on that. We're going to say that accounts receivable went from uh, 80,750 down to 771. That's going to be a decrease in accounts receivable. Therefore, it's going to bring up the uh, cash flow statement here. So it's actually, we're going to use our same formula. We're always going to say negative of this number means it's going to be an increase, meaning I'm going to put the formula in here right now. We're going to say this equals the sum. This is the total cash flow of all of these from the net income down to here. And obviously what that does is it, it brings up this number. So that's what's going to happen for all assets. Basically, if, if accounts receivable went down or if the asset went down, we're going to add it or increase the cash flow. So now let's try to think through why that would be. We're not going to think through why it would be for all accounts, but the same kind of logic for receivable will be applicable to all other accounts. So if we think about uh, the receivable account, how does it go up or down? Well, a receivable account goes up if we uh, sell something on account where we're going to debit accounts receivable, credit sales. So that's a transaction that happens when and we don't get any money for it. And when does it go down? That's when we collect cash and then we debit cash and credit the receivable. So what that means is that if accounts receivable went down overall, that 